Yeah, pretty unbelievable. They're still waiting uh, to get the official test. He did have a field uh, sobriety test. Joanne, tonight, though, his relatives are calling him a doting father and uncle. But, uh, you know, that's not what police are saying. So in addition to child endangerment and a, a sky-high blood alcohol level, they say there's another reason he shouldn't have been driving. His license is suspended. Arresting officers say Robert Webster's blood alcohol was four times the legal limit, and he could hardly stand or walk after sideswiping their parked vehicle early Saturday morning. When they stopped him two blocks later here on Saginaw, they found his 14- and 15-year-old sons and his 13-year-old nephew in Webster's minivan. The boys didn't realize anything was wrong until Webster hit this police cruiser, which now has been partially repaired. He was driving normal until he hit that turn. Hit the turn and then hit the police car? Yep. And so what did you think then? That he something was wrong, like he'd been drinking or something. The nephew's stepmother has known Webster since they were children and says he stopped by her house about 10 that night to pick up his nephew, who had planned to spend the night with his cousins. That's his uncle. and He likes hanging yeah, out. Yeah, likes hanging out with his uncles and his cousins, so yeah. I just let him go. And yeah. to my surprise, a couple minutes back, they were here with James, and he was all right, thank God. But, and uh, hopefully Robbie's all right and the kids that were in the car are all right. And all of the boys are fine. In fact, they all went to school today. Uh, Robert Webster was held for several hours, but he has been released again, pending those official uh, test results from the hospital's blood tests, and they may not be available for days or even weeks. Reporting live from Pontiac, I'm Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News. Val, Back have we to been able enjoy. to speak to Mr. Webster up to this point? Well, we did try. We went by his home, also here in Pontiac, but we were told that he wasn't there. All right, Val Clark reporting from Pontiac. Here's some more details for you. Action News has learned that Webster's license was suspended in January, and there is a traffic warrant for his arrest in Bloomfield Hills. That has to do with missing equipment and the failure to display a valid driver's license.